Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a thrift flip video and we are going to be using milk paint. So this is the first time that I have ever used milk paint and I'm going to be trying it on three different items. So one is going to be a raw wood item, one is going to be a treated like sealed wood item and then one is going to be more of like a basket um, type material. So we're going to get right into these projects. This first one are these two banister pieces that I cut down. They are the raw pieces of wood that I'm going to try this milk paint on. So this milk paint is old fashioned milk paint. I did get it from Amazon. I can link it in the description. Um, you can also get it on their website. It is the same website as Sweet Pickens uh, milk paint that I have seen several YouTubers use. I was torn between trying the different products. I'm going to start with this old fashioned brand and go from there. So I followed the directions on the packaging and it was equal parts of the milk paint to water and it does not come with a measuring scoop but I did have a leftover protein powder scoop that I used for my measurements. So I mix it up really well. I let it sit for um, a couple minutes. I believe it was like five or so minutes. I let it sit and then I started to paint. So um, you're looking for a like a pancake batter like consistency um, or like a loose pancake batter consistency. This first um, banister piece, which I'm turning into a candlestick, so I'm just gonna call them candlesticks from now on. Um, it was a little looser um, and then as I was painting, of course it was, the paint was setting up a little bit. So by the time I got to this piece here, it um, the paint was thicker and so I think it worked um, a little bit better. I did want to point out, I know I showed it in the first few clips, I did seal these pieces with two coats of shellac. I've used these pieces in the past on other projects that I've, you know, cut down and made to other pe thing or other things and I did have some bleed through so I made sure to do two coats of shellac. So once I got the first coat of this milk paint on, I am applying heat using my heat gun. Um, if I can find the link to this heat gun, I will link it in the description if you are interested. I love this heat gun. Um, it has two speeds and I, like I said, I just really like it. So I'll link it for you if you are interested in checking it out. Um, for the milk paint, I don't think that it's necessarily required, at least it didn't say it on the packaging that you had to apply heat, but I really wanted to see if I would get any crackle or chipping um, since I've never used milk paint before and I have been dying to try it. So I did two coats of the milk paint and I applied heat both times and then I let it thoroughly dry. So this is the next day and I did not get any chipping, but I did get a lot of crackle in places, especially where I applied the heat. So when I applied the heat, I held it down like in that area until it started to crackle and then I would move on to another area. So I am just taking 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just sanding um, the entire area, surface area. I was going to see if I could get any chipping out of it and I really did not get any chips. It was just sanding and it did smooth out the surface, um, especially on the smaller piece. There were a lot of bubbles and I believe that was from clumping from the milk paint. So I just smoothed everything out. Now to finish these, I'm going to be using different waxes. I've got three different brands that I'm going to be using and they all work really well together. So I'm using the Dixie Belle Clear Wax and I'm going to do um, a clear coat on the entire piece first and then I'm going to wipe it off and I'm not even going to really let it sit. Once I wipe it off, I'm going to move to the um, the black wax and this is the black wax I'm using is from DIY so I was a little nervous <laughs> to use the black wax I was torn between the black wax or the brown wax so I started with the black wax and I, I started out light and I was really inspired by the old um, you know windows that you know you see at vintage stores and at estate sales I have a couple and I was really inspired to try and get that look which is why I really ended up liking how the black wax looked 
So the black wax got into all of the crevices from the crackling. So I really made sure to like stipple those areas with my chip brush. And then I kind of just did some light brushing of the wax everywhere else. And then once I got, you know, the entire piece covered how I wanted, I did, I did wipe that off right away as well. And any areas that either had, you know, too much black wax or I just thought looked too gray, I did go back and add some more white wax and wipe it off. It kind of act, you know, it acts like an eraser to, to that black wax. So I kept adding white wax and black wax until I was happy. Now for this long, tall piece, I really wanted to try the brown wax since I tried the black wax on the first one. So I'm doing this small test area. I realized I didn't like the brown wax. I thought it just made the paint just look like dirty, but not like the good kind of dirty. <laughs> so I immediately took some white wax and I wiped it off. Um, you could still see some of the brown wax, so I decided to add some, or you could still see some of the brown wax, so I decided to add some black wax to that area. And once I wiped it back, I actually really liked that combination of the brown wax with the black wax. So I ended up doing that for the entire piece. Um, once I got the white wax over everything, then I did brown wax, not full coverage brown wax, but I did add the brown wax and then I added the black wax. So I did that for the entire piece. I let these sit and then these are done. I really hope you guys enjoyed these. I love them so, so much. I just wish that there was a little bit of chipping, but I love the crackling that did happen. The second project this is the treated wood piece so I thrifted this a really long time ago it sat in my booth for you know six seven months and it never sold so I brought it home and I really wanted to try the milk paint on it so I did do two coats of shellac on this piece as well because I was not sure if I was gonna get any bleed through I didn't sand this at all but with the finish that was on it, I just, I wasn't sure, so I didn't wanna take any chances. So once the shellac dried, I'm doing the exact same process with the milk paint that I did on the first two items. So I'm not gonna show you, you know, complete painting of everything, but I did equal parts of the water and the paint, just like last time. And I let this uh, mixture sit for about 10 minutes this time, so it was a little thicker and it went on a lot better. Again, I did the two coats, and in between the two coats, I did apply heat with the heat gun. So hopefully you can see um, in this clip right here, as I'm applying the heat, the crackling is you know, visibly happening. So as I said earlier, I'm kind of focusing my heat gun in an area until I get some of that crackle effect, and then I'm gonna move on to another area, but I'm going to try and apply heat all over so that it does help to speed up the drying process but also to try and create as much crackle and chip as possible. So again, I did not get any chipping but I got a ton of crackle. So I'm going back over 
um, this piece with 220 grit sandpaper. I'm using my detail sander and I'm just distressing it a little bit and smoothing everything out. Thankfully, none of the crackle went away, but again, I didn't get any chipping, but I'm really, really happy with how this turned out so far. And just like the first projects, I am going to be doing white wax over the entire piece. I'm going to wipe it back and then I'm going to add, this time I'm just doing the black wax. I decided not to do any of the brown wax because I loved how the black wax looked on the very first piece. So I'm just doing the clear wax and then the black wax. I will say I did not notice any difference between the unfinished like untreated wood then you know from this piece that clearly had a stain and a sealer or a varnish on it I didn't notice any difference so I don't know if maybe if I had not applied the shellac to the first two pieces that were unfinished if I would have had any you know chipping effect I'm not sure maybe I should try it again without using any of the shellac and see how that works. Um, if you guys have worked with milk paint and you do know, just let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, this is my first time. I've been so excited to try milk paint. Um, so let me know if you've used it and what causes a lot of that chippiness. For our last project, we are going to be using the rest of the milk paint that I made on this basket. I've had this basket in my booth for probably close to a year and it never sold. I had different florals in it, maybe because I didn't do anything else to it. So I took it out of my booth and I decided since I had the leftover milk paint mixture, I was going to paint it up. Originally, I was just going to paint this bottom portion and leave, you know, like the rim, that wood color, but then I ended up forgetting that that's what I wanted to do and I painted it. So the entire thing got painted except for the handle portion. I did do two coats and I did add a little bit of extra water to this mixture so that it was looser so that more of the milk paint could get into the you know nooks and crannies of this weaved basket and I applied heat and it crackled so so nice again no chipping but that is fine this was not treated at all from what I could see and I did not do any shellac so it did not chip but it crackled up amazing I did have technical issues so with my camera so this is about all that I got for this one um, I did not end up sealing it with wax I just did a clear coat of the matte sealer and then this piece is done I really hope that you enjoyed these projects and let me know your favorite in the comments and if you have any tips and tricks on milk paint definitely let me know if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing and I will see you all in my next video bye guys <music>